hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be filming my sephora haul sephora recently threw in like a little bonus summer save like vip sale i don't know what to call it because usually there's only two sales a year where you get to save 20 percent. but recently they've just kind of been like throwing in extra sales and they did one this summer it just passed um and i got my order in so i thought i'd share it with you it's going to be pretty much maybe the smallest haul i've done yet and i feel like there's a reason for that i've just kind of been uninspired there's so much new stuff coming out but like all of it's kind of the same i don't know if it's just me i'm kind of like overwhelmed maybe underwhelmed is actually the correct word but anyways let's get into it a lot of this haul is actually either um restocks of things that i love and have used for a long time and i was running out of so i used my 20 percent to get my restocks or it's stuff that like i've been eyeing for a while and then when the 20 percent came up like to save 20 percent i just kind of got things that like i really wanted but i didn't go crazy like i usually do like around christmas that sale the one that's like in november or whatever that one i usually go a little bit more crazy just because they have like the um limited edition christmas sets and stuff which i always look forward to but this time i'm really proud of myself because i only got things that either i really needed or i've been wanting for a really long time like i didn't do any just like impulse buys so i guess i'll start with restocks um i got the Ula Henriksen Glow to O Dark Spot Toner. If you've seen uh, my previous hauls, then you saw I got a mini set that came with this and a lotion, and I used up my mini one, and I really liked it. It's really good um, toner for dark spots. If you have pigmentation or you're like me and you pick acne on your face and then you get spots left from that, this works really well. And even not for dark spots, it helps with texture and just imp improving your skin in general, I will say. I really noticed a difference with this, which is why I decided to repurchase that. And I have two other products that are like supposed to be like this, but I found this one to be the best. So um, I just repurchased the big guy of that. It smells like lemonade. I really love the smell of most of Ula Henriksen's products. Not that that is like a deal breaker or anything, but just a side note. And then I also restocked on this Laneige Sleeping Care Water Sleeping Mask. I just got the regular one. I think they have it in lavender now, but I don't like the smell of lavender. I don't like the smell of most florals. I'm not going to open it. But you've heard me talk about this so many times. It's backwards. Fail. You're fired. Um... I've talked about this water sleeping mask so many times. I take the travel sizes with me anywhere I go, any overnighter I'm going to. Uh, and I also have bought two of the big ones of this and I've gone through them both. I love this. It's just a really simple sleep mask. It's not going to really help with texture or anything like that. There's not too much complicated ingredients, which is why I like it. Like when my skin is just dehydrated and it needs moisture, if I've been in the sun for too long or if I've just over exfoliated, if I just need something simple that's not going to irritate or exfoliate because a lot of my products have chemical expo ex exfoliators, um, if I just need something simple to help with like hydration, plumpness, that kind of thing, something that's not going to irritate, that's what I reach for. I really like it and it's lightweight. So I like that. Mm. And then the last repurchase is this, which is the Glam Glow Gravity Mud Firming Treatment Mask. This is the mini one just because I rotate my masks. I have a lot of masks and I don't use one at a time. I kind of have different ones for different things and I like to switch it up. I don't know why, but in my mind, I just feel like I won't use only one mask because i don't want my skin getting used to something and i know that seems like super high maintenance but it's not i don't have like a million i just have certain ones that trigger different things and i don't like to reuse the same one all the time so the big one i just feel like is a waste the small one was enough and i don't usually put it on my whole face i kind of just put it where i need it but i really do like this i've gone through two of the minis and they last me a decent amount of time and i like this because i notice a difference with like it plumping and making i don't have too much like wrinkles but it just makes your skin appear more youthful and plump and if you have like fine lines maybe not like deep set um, sorry, there's a fluff. Maybe not like deep set wrinkles, but if you have fine lines, I really do feel like this 
um, improves the appearance of them and also some peel off masks when you put them on and you peel them off uh, they come in like a whole bunch of different pieces and they're just annoying but this one is like really satisfying because it literally will come off in like one thing and it's cool because you look like the tin man so oh and it smells like coconut um, or like a pina colada kind of thing so I really like this and I do notice a difference which is why um, I repurchased them and so in a way I feel like this haul is helpful because when you see people's repurchases you know like it's a good product so um, ma, I decided to try out this new Ola Ula Henriksen Fat P-H-A-T Glow Facial this is what it looks like. My mouth is so dry. Um, I've just been loving Ula Henriksen so much lately. So when I saw that they were coming out with this, I decided to get it. It says it in instantly exfoliates and illuminates with PHAs and Nordic birch sap. So I don't really know what that means, but... <laughs> I'm like I don't really know what that means but it's basically uh, I did read up on it and it's supposed to be like a you know like the drunk elephant baby facial something like that where you put it on you rub it into your skin you leave it on for 15 minutes and then you remove it with a damp cloth and it's supposed to be like a more gentle um, exfoliator that helps remove like dead skin and make your uh, face appear more like glowy youthful and yeah apparently I did try this once and I did um like it I can't say I noticed a difference right away but I did like it my skin did seem more glowy and it felt like a baby's butt so I really liked this I've been loving Ula Henriksen lately um and then these are the two things I only have two more things and it's just things that I've been eyeing for a long time. I recently saw everyone talking about this Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. This is their powder foundation. At one point, I feel like this was all over YouTube. I don't know if they were sponsored videos or what, but I just feel like they were everywhere and I kept seeing it and I was like, okay, am I being brainwashed because I don't really like powder foundations. But at the same time, I don't like powder foundations because up until now, um, they look like powder on the skin, they make your skin look dry and they're not necessarily full coverage. And if you watch my foundation reviews and stuff like that, I usually like something that's full coverage just because if I'm going to wear foundation, like I'd rather be found like full coverage, like go big or go home kind of thing. Um, so that's just me. I either like a full coverage or nothing at all, or maybe like a tinted SPF because I am going to wear SPF every day of my life anyway. So, but up until now, oh my God, I'm rambling so much, but up until now, I didn't like powder foundations because they weren't full coverage and they looked like powder but everyone and their mama has been saying that this is full coverage and it doesn't look like powder blah 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 so oh my god I couldn't get it open for the life of me I got the shade Y335 can you see that and I honestly don't know if this is my shade this is what it looks like maybe it's my shade I don't know. I did like the thing online where it says find my shade and you type in one of your foundations and find the match to it. So that's what I did. I don't know if it's going to match me, but it said this was my closest match. Uh, so we'll try it out. What I will say is that I don't wear makeup most of the time, but sometimes like when I want to go pick up my kid from school or if I'm like if I'm just going like on a quick errand or like a day thing with my family and I don't want to wear a full face of makeup I thought this would be convenient because it's quick you can just throw it on and look somewhat put together even out your skin tone and whatever um without doing a full face of makeup so I'm gonna think I think I'm gonna do a video trying this out like just dedicated to this because I'm skeptical but I really hope it's as good as everyone says because that would be really convenient to like fly and travel with and whatever and then last thing I feel like I'm super rambly and I really don't know why last thing is just a boring it's just a spice lip liner I have a lot of other lip liners from MAC but I don't have spice and I don't know why because it's like a cult classic I always thought it was like mauve but it's looking more brown right now Ooh, that looks gorgeous that's the color can you see that so I just decided to pick it up because I've always heard people talking about it and I love MAC lip liners. So I figured I might as well get the discount because they're already pretty affordable. Um, and I'm glad I did because I thought it was more like mauvish purple, but it's not. It's like a muted um, brown. So that's right up my alley.
Anyways, that's everything that I got, and I'm really proud of myself for not going crazy because the things, most of the things I got, like I know that I love and I needed anyway. It's not like I just spent money for the hell of spending money. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give me a like, and also don't forget to subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in my next one.